To me, one of the um, scariest things about the food system looking ahead over the next uh, 10 to 15 years is the issue of water. I think water is probably the thing that's going to um, rear up and bite us first. I think that there are a number of areas which are currently uh, highly productive areas which will uh, in part cease to be productive of the order of the next uh, 10 or 15 years. Um, these are particularly areas which rely on water from underground aquifers at the moment. There's part of northwestern India, which is currently uh, a major breadbasket, uh, largely but not exclusively supplied by underground aquifer water, where um, the water levels are dropping at rates of metres per year. And we're going to see real shortage for water in those areas just at the same time as climate change will be affecting the glaciers in the Himalayas in ways that I think at the moment we can't predict but um, are worrying. We may see major rivers like the Indus have substantially less water. I don't think we can say that for certain at the moment, but it's, it, it, it's something um, that's, that's, that's risky. And not only in uh, places like India, I think in, uh, in Europe and places like southern Spain, in the United States and the Great Basin region, we're going to see real stresses on, on water. I, I think there are some exciting technological innovations that can be deployed to help, cr to help uh, cope with the um, pressures on water over the next couple of decades. One of the most important is a set of techniques that go under the rubric of precision engineering which is essentially getting water to exactly where it's used by the crop rather than just spraying water uh, across a whole field. And I think that combined with more efficient irrigation is important. I think that for the bulk crops, the major grains that uh, we rely on for our calories, um, initiatives such as that are going to be the, the main strategy. For high value crops, especially things such as vegetables, then I think there's a very important role for hydroponics where water can be recycled and, be, and can be used extremely efficiently. I, I, I think it's unlikely that hydroponics could be taken to scale for the major grain crops, but certainly for the my, more high value crops. Mm -hmm. I think that we're also going to see innovations in desalination and in water harvesting. There are ways of harvesting humidity from the air, even in quite, in, in quite, um, in quite dry environments. So I think there's a lot of innovation there. I think it needs more investment at the moment and I think it needs more basic research.